Scorpio, what's up, water babies? Wish popping. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, y'all, look, I may cuss a little bit, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, okay? To all of my new subscribers, hey, y'all, welcome to the family. We a little dysfunctional. It's a whole lot of love, though. Hey, we don't fight, we don't fuss, we do cuss a little. We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, okay? Off the real with Scorpio, I'm feeling. Pup, 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 poker face, pup, pup, poker face. Y'all give people a poker face. It's time to literally walk in your authenticity. Scorpio, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to love. It's okay to let someone in. Everyone's not going to hurt you, baby. I felt the need to say that. This will be for the sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio between the 15th and the 30th of September, okay? Um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in, in the description. My last day offering those $10 reads for one question is going to be on the 15th of September. So y'all better get in, get it in, get it in. Now we talking about Mocha, I didn't know because I made a whole video about it about a week ago, okay? So y'all let me let me know if you need a personal, okay? I am available. Um, for some people, y'all, it's been crazy, okay? But I am available, okay? We making, we, we getting it in there as soon as I get reasons i try to get them scheduled in so i already have a flow so we can we don't have to be a, a forever waiting process all right so we rocking so again this will be for my scorpios sun moon rising venus cross watches with y'all cross talking asses i'm just saying <laughs> it's all right i'm a cross talker when i'm off <laughs> the first message that i have for my scorpio baby comes from the crystal angel oracle cards by doreen virtue okay the message that you guys got was apophyllite increased support your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened up the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities okay so let go let god this card is a wonderful sign that you're receiving increased support so that your needs are met the support may take the form of abundance, emotional comfort, or relief from some of your responsibilities, giving you more time to focus upon your priorities. God has heard and is answering your prayers, which may involve you receiving intuition or ideas to take positive action. Be sure to do so so that, you're, so that you won't miss the blessings being offered to you. These divinely guided actions could include making healthful lifestyle changes such as improving your exercise, sleep, or eating habits to raise your spiritual vibration, which will turn and attract higher outcomes. This is also encouragement for you to ask, ask for support from God, your loved ones, or a compassionate therapist, or to join a support group, okay? So it's not about being who the hell you think people need you to be, okay? Or learning them to learn how the hell you need to move because I'm hearing that too with my scorpions, okay? I am seeing mother during this time is wanting for you to embrace walking your power of this king of water, baby. Walking your power, embrace this, okay? For some of you, it definitely has to do with some form of expansion and an infinity. It was destined to, for you to move in this way because some of y'all, your love and that coldness have been major blockages for you because you're living in a place of the past. Everybody everybody not going to hurt you, God says. The spirit is really moving with y'all. Some of y'all have major trust issues and you're learning how to work on that, okay? And Rome wasn't built in a day. You're going to get it together, baby. But I do see during this time, a lot of y'all are really finding the beauty within yourself again and what you actually bring to the circumstance. I feel like some of y'all are needing to trust your intuition, but trust your intuition and don't use what you know intuitively, y'all, against someone during this time because Mother Kwame is a bad, bad mother and she on the move. Do you understand? With Venus going into Scorpio today, I feel like with this King of Water energy, Venus is is supporting that loving, that loving nature of Scorpio. Not the, you know, I'm a Scorpio, so I'm unforgivable. Y'all got to forgive me. I like Lil Boosie, okay? But it's not supporting that side of you. It's supporting, you know, the beauty that you bring to the world. The fixed energy. You are fixed energy. So you really don't like massive change you don't like to change okay but some of y'all are finding the beauty and learning how to move by yourself some of y'all are really ready to take your relationship to the next level but you don't trust them and it's not that they doing something scorpio is honestly it's you it's your thoughts about things you know and i'm seeing and spirit told me said fearlessly don't be afraid to point no fingers with some of y'all it's you Okay, and the way that you see things. Also, something, your perspective, the way that, again, the way that you see things, okay? Just because you had a snake that, a snake in the past that 
that, that covered your eyes, baby, that tells you that don't mean that you ain't able to see something from a different perspective. Don't look at what happened. Look at what you gained from it. Look how you came out the mud. Look how you grew from it. Look what sprouted out from the concrete into a beautiful goddamn tree. Flight like the phoenix, baby. It's time to fly. Passionately. Okay, during this time, I feel like internally y'all are fighting yourself again. You see this? Y'all worrying about what everybody else talking about. People you're going to find out during this time, people is talking to you about your back. Some of y'all going to be getting to about getting to people about them talking about you behind your back, especially if you're dealing with the sign of Capricorn. Um, I also see during this time, it's somebody from your past. This could be another water, water on water, energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You just really want this person to extend. You love the shit out of this person, but it's a pride thing. I want you to extend it out to me. Pride is one of the biggest relationship killers in the world. Because ultimately you want to hold together. You want to hold this together, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign. Because you have rejection issues or abandonment issues from your past. Yes, I'm going there because I see it. Because you have a deep-rooted rejection or abandonment issue or an acceptance issue, you're kind of projecting that onto this other person to the point where you kind of become toxic in a relationship, Scorpio. And that's why y'all fight it. Because this person is like, I can't be all these damn people who you choose to be in the day's time to deal with people. I got to be my damn self. And it's to be vulnerable and try and hold on to you. And you look at it like, oh, you're getting on my nerves. Because you have an issue, the rooted issue is accepting love, giving love. With the understanding of how to accept love, okay? Because you're going, you end one cycle and you're going into a new one with doing so, and you're gonna feel very victorious and on top of the world, and everything is trying to come in to assist you. Finances, with this four four being here, know the stability is coming during this time to your finances, okay? Some of y'all may receive new job offers during this time, all right? Some of y'all feel stagnant, stuck. You need to cut yourself from that from that mindset because it's truly a mindset, all right? Put some fire under your ass and move. Be real with yourself. Be vulnerable. Tell the truth. Some of y'all finna lose out on a real good thing. Some of y'all, some of y'all are in a, in an energy of stalking the Sagittarius. Or got a Sagittarius stalking you. And this person really wants to give you an offer. But this person makes you feel like you got a whole damn monkey on your back. Some of y'all are watching someone else. And you feel like this is someone who you actually want to hold on to. And keep them around. You really want to give a, be given a second chance. I want to go back and go back into it with you. But I got to drop these burdens for myself, by myself. And now I understand that. Be real with yourself. It starts with you. Okay. Some of y'all, you got a Leo in your life. This person is really trying to push through the relationship, and this person is really trying to hold it together. They want to stay with you, Scorpio, but you like, hell no. I'm trying to have strength and get my own damn burdens out of my bag back the hell up, okay, during this time. And some of you, you're needing to be by yourself to gain a new perspective on things. Some of y'all are thinking about going to school. Good look, baby. Spirit, support that, okay? Why is the devil card here for my Scorpio between the 15th and the 30th? Yeah. Some of y'all got a toxic... It, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in your life, you finna cut off because this person is confrontational. As soon as you cut them off, boom, the removing of the blockage with the shmoney. Okay? Some of y'all have possibly cut off for air sign because you feel like they was toxic because they told you about your damn self. No, there's a lesson in this partner. Some of y'all dealing with karmics, but they're mirroring karmics because the thing that you don't like about them is things that they don't like about you, but if you think about your past, other people didn't like about you. It's not everybody else. For some of y'all, this definitely involves an Aries, Virgo, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, okay? I feel like you, it's like a prideful thing. Like, you want this person to extend their love to you in order for y'all to go on, to grow in love because it's really needing to heal from a deep-rooted issue of acceptance. Some of y'all are trying to hold on to a relationship with the Pisces or Sagittarius. Some of y'all are leaving one cycle and going into another cycle with the with the Pisces or Sagittarius. This person for some of y'all is not going nowhere. I feel like you or this other person in the past was juggling and so somebody on the lookout waiting on them to do this shit again instead of being optimistic and moving forward. Okay? I feel like some of y'all feel stuck. Some of y'all feel stuck in a situation where somebody was juggling having to do with the Virgo. Okay, I feel like yeah, somebody somebody who was in a three party situation to put you in a three party situation during this time is gonna wanna come and make you an offer. And they wanna come wanna come and help you financially, but I feel like you feel like it's not enough. You feel like, oh, this, this is how you want to talk. You don't want to apologize. You just want to be in and out of my life. You wanna smash, because for some of y'all it's a fire sign, every Leo Sash. I feel like you look at this person as like, you know, you a headache. 
You know, so I feel like if this person extends an offer to you, I'm being real. Some of y'all, some of y'all going to smash and just, just pee on somebody, even though you really want to be somewhere else. So you, that comes with you being real with yourself, Scorpio. All right. You got to be real. Some of y'all, regarding the Leo, it's time to make a judgment call. Do I want this new beginning? Because whoever this person is, some of y'all, you've been trying to hold everything together when God is really asking you, Scorpio, can I do my job? Can I do my job, Scorpio? Because some of y'all have new beginnings, new passionate beginnings, coming from possibly a Leo, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, as well as new beginnings financially. If only you just choose to trust, my babies. During this time, I'm needing y'all to truly, truly, truly trust, okay? What's the outcome? What can all my babies expect in the outcome? Yeah, for some of you, you have the expectation to reunite with a fire sign. It's not going to be like a full reuniting. It's just going to be like some in and out energy, especially if you're dealing with a Leo. Or Sagittarius for some of y'all. Could be Aries, but I see Leo and Strong Sag here with the emphasis on the sign. Yeah, some of y'all are literally carrying all the burdens at work and you feeling like, damn, y'all see me doing all this work, but you don't see me. What's up? Pay me more. Speak up for yourself. Don't just expect for people to know. Speak up for yourself. Spirit say, speak up. Okay, some of y'all, you got a new beginning coming. You got your Ace of Cups coming, but you got to get out of this place of the past. Especially if this person did something deceptive or you did something to de deceptive to this person. You got to be more optimistic and trust more, my babies, because change is coming only if you allow it to come, okay? And that's pretty much. And also, trust your intuition, okay? Especially when it has to do with an Aries, whether it's good or bad. Because I feel like you actually, some of y'all want to work it out with an Aries. This is actually what you, what you want to see manifest, but you know that it, shit got to be shooken up and communicated. The truthfully, in order for newness to take place and y'all be able to move from the past. Because for some of you, this person is a soulmate. And you have to, in order to go into a new cycle with this person, you got to walk away from shit and the way you look at shit and the way that you do things first, okay? Because I feel like for some of y'all, it's a cancer. And you're going to be very victorious with this person. Just get out of this spirit of indecisiveness. Especially when it comes to finances. You don't have what? The B word, broke. We don't speak that. We, but that's... That's not even a, that word is not allowed here on the channel. Be, bro, what? We don't speak that. No speak I broke it. No, it ain't what we doing, okay? But I strongly feel like some of y'all, y'all do have great money that was coming. Some of y'all are going to leave somebody and remove their money blockage because somebody, you had a snake around you. They want to come up off you, not with you. And you come come to terms with that during this time. Maybe do through some type of fight or argument. I'm, I'm feeling you're going to piss somebody off and they're going to tell you how they really feel. OK, but some of y'all can actually have this new beginning with the fire sign, this ten of pentacles. Uh, for some of y'all, it's a, a, a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, all, all of I mean, all the earth babies and all the fire babies. Here. So I feel strong water, earth, fire. As far as air sign energy goes, I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all ain't fucking with that. All the air sign energy, all the air that I got, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Scorpio reading at this point, I got deception. I got you cutting motherfuckers off. I got you. Hold on. Somebody telling the truth, okay? But it's crazy because if you look at that shit, just look at these three. This don't look good around here. I'm going to get the truth. Cut your ass off because I feel like this. Yeah, Scorpio not fucking with air right now. And it could have to do possibly with some pregnancy having to do with air. Y'all comment and let me know. But this is what I have for my Scorpio babies between the 15th and the 30th of September. At first, I thought I was going to be able to have to move y'all video to tomorrow. But baby, you know what? I had to throw my cape on today and make it work because I got tired of making my babies wait due to being overloaded with personal reasons. So I love y'all very much. Virgo and Libra will be tomorrow. And much love, my babies.